25th Belkin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge is hours away. The four-day race starts in San Ignacio and ends in Belize City. René Villanueva sat down with historian Hector Silva and one of the organizers, Roberto Harrison, to discuss the history of the Ruta Maya and the origins of the race. We will have that discussion following a word from our partners. The National Gas Company b &E Charitable Trust, Shell Belize, and the Bar Restore. We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio Cayo, Old York, and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry. Get more, feelings. The National Gas Company Limited was born of the need for the country of Belize to have a marine gas terminal of its own, thereby securing supplies of critical cooking gas for a growing population. As Belize's population grew, the time came for a modern marine gas terminal that ensured safety, security of supply, and the requisite infrastructure for industry-accepted quality assurance now demanded by the people of Belize. In 2020, the National Gas Company Limited became a reality. The National Gas Company Limited is a $60 million public-private partnership where Belize's private sector would design, finance, construct and manage a state-of-the-art national marine terminal facility and two complementary storage depots away from the coast. After 15 years, the National Gas Company would be fully turned over to the country and people of Belize at no cost to the taxpayer. The National Gas Company of Belize, fueling Belize forward. Somewhere in Belize, a student sits proud of his school and renovated classroom. Several miles away, a young adult feels at ease, knowing society has not forgotten her quest for higher education. In villages across Belize, children gather to use their imagination, to dare to dream, to create music, make art, play sports, and more. The entrepreneurial spirit is being ignited throughout the country, and the b &E Trust has showcased the Dare to Dream big entrepreneurial program igniting further at this challenging time the spirit of the nation. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust has been a part of celebrating these singular achievements and are especially proud to serve as a catalyst in the changing future of Belize. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust, contributing to the education and empowerment of Belizeans. Shell V Power with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go Shell. On Thursday, 3rd March 2022, on the eve of the starting of the 25th La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge, let me give it the full name, the Belikin La Ruta Maya Belize River Challenge. I have the honor and privilege of looking at the historical origins of this race, what the race really means historically, how, and also how it started. And with me are two gentlemen intimately connected with the race, La Ruta Maya, the Belikin La Ruta Maya. We have 
Dr. Don Hector Silva and um, Dr. Roberto Harrison. Gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. And it's, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, we are seated really in San Ignacio. We recorded this show the day before. We are sitting in San Ignacio on the balcony of Don Hector's home. So we want to thank him for opening up his home to us, right, um, Roberto? And um, because, as could, uh, we call one another Roberto, because we are calling you Don Hector, because yes. we are all friends, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. You know, so um, so we are here, um, and we want to thank Don Hector for opening up his home to us, um, to and, and, and of course his archives. Now, let me start from the very beginning. And you know, Roberto, the older person in this room, right, and the man who studied a lot of history is none other than Dr. Don Hector Silva. And, and so, Don, um, La Ruta Maya, um, where did this whole concept originate from? Doctor, I went to Merida and in fact to Bacalar, to find out what there was about this Ruta Maya, what it meant. First of all, they showed me the trajectory of this Ruta Maya. It began in Lake Bacalar, where the Spaniards, they had a fort. Yeah, and from there, that road entered into a canal that the Mayas built named Chaak. That canal Chaak led into the Rio Hondo that divides us with Mexico. From there, it entered into the Caribbean Sea, the Bay of Chetumal, I mean of Corozal, mm -hmm. then into the New River, up past Orange Walk, the tongue, then into the Hill Bank Lagoon, then to, towards Laboring Creek, and some connection there, not specified, that led to the Belize Old River. Mm -hmm. From there, the route that we are talking first is the route that passed through San Ignacio to the city of Tipu, mm -hmm. the western capital of the Maya. That's how Tipu was called, was known. And Tipu is just outside San Ignacio, so we About can establish. Three, three and a half miles, I think, yes. So you enter through the river, so that's it. No. When I heard the Harrisons speaking about Aruta Maya, my mind immediately flashed into this importance of this Ruta Maya. Yeah. No, the Harrisons, in their wisdom, selected the Ruta Maya branch that leads to the Caribbean Sea by Billy City. Yeah. That's a Ruta Maya. Uh -huh. They went to, the, uh, to, to, to get shells, to get fish. In fact, there is a station 12 miles from Billy City. You look on, going down on the left, there are about 12 Maya mounds uh -huh. where the Mayas used to do fishing. Salt, like the one that you went to at Kikakos, yeah. where the paddle was found yeah. and the this was one here not discovered, not uh, discovered yet. So this Ruta Maya that the Harrison brothers selected was something of significance. Uh, we did not realize it at the moment because we thought it was a paddling race. Yes. But it is more than paddling race because, and here is the bombshell, that Ruta served four civilizations like no other ruta that I'm trying to follow in the world. Brazil, South America does not have four civilizations, nor does Mexico. Here you had the Maya civilization from before Jesus Christ was born, uh -huh. using this ruta. Yeah. Then came the Spaniards yeah. that yeah. wanted to conquer the same route to be able to conquer territories including well the, from the north right down to up to Petén. And that explains, Don Hector, yeah. 
how the Spaniards ended up at Laboring Creek and you had that Battle of Laboring exactly, Creek. Exactly. Yes. Explain that. Exactly. They came and they also had a confrontation at Spanish Lookout. That's right. Right on the Belize River Valley, the same road. Um, General Melchor de Mencos, a Spaniard, on behalf of Mexico, Capitania de Mexico, came to try to conquer these lands yes. and they reached Spanish Lookout. So they stood there, the British were in form and they came up the river and stood by the other side of the hill. You know Spanish Lookout has two hills. Two hills yeah. On your right of the road there's a hill. So they stood looking at each other to see who would make the move. In June, in June, the race came. So General, the British, they were there. The Melchor de Mencos decided to withdraw and they went back. Before the British, they left, they said, this is Spanish Lookout. Mm -hmm. That's the name right there, yeah. of Spanish Lookout. Lookout Point. Yeah, that's right. No, so the Ruta Maya, served this for civilization. The Maya first, the Spaniards then, once uh, the, the priest for in San Luis, Rida, uh, uh, Bishop Landa, that came up with soldiers with them to conquer. Good. Now, the other civilization that came were the British. And they utilized this same route to extract the chicle from Orange Rock and that area from the west and the logging operations that some millions of lags through that same Ruta Maya. That same Ruta Maya. Mm -hmm. Now, of importance, okay, if we don't have no more question here. Well, yeah, because you said four civilizations. Yes. And, and we have covered the Maya. Yes. We have covered the no. Spaniards. Yes. We have covered the um, British, British and the Belizean. And we have now have to look at the Belizean. The Belizean. Because the Belizean used that river yes. as a main highway. Yes. Exactly. That, that 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 route that the that the Ruta Maya, Belican La Ruta Maya um, race takes mm -hmm. is what was used as the main highway between Belize City and the San yes. Ignacio in the west. Yes. And I think when you were brave enough to go up the rapids at the Mopan River all the way to Benque Viejo del Carmen, yes. I think they, they, they would use you, you use that. So because as we know the Mopan and the Macal River make up the Belize River when they meet at Branch Mouth. Exactly. And th th that's all part of La Ruta Maya. Yeah. But maybe, Don Hector, let's turn to Roberto Harrison right now and, 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 and ask him about the concept of, of, of bringing this whole historical part of our country, aspect of our country together in a race? Well, I think, first of all, when we, when we were sitting down in January of 1998, Perhaps we never did talk and, and feel like all of this information that you have, that you have given, Doctor, is, was a part of it. We, what we were looking at was for a, an activity that replaced the Baron Bliss holiday. There was no, nothing going on around. And, and so a group of us guys sat down at the San Ignacio Hotel then to figure out what can we do? Brains good and everything good. We thought, well, let's do a canoe race, but a canoe race where? Um, down Branch Mouth or down this way? We said, well, let's try the La Ruta Maya. And hence, the, the, the idea came of that. In fact, there was, there was, there was a, a reason for wanting to, to name it La Ruta Maya because of as what you have said, the, the 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 trajectory of the river was in fact a mode of transportation uh now that i understand it of a lot of civilizations or at least four civilizations so we 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 sat we thought and we said okay let's name it la ruta maya belize river challenge canoe river challenge and 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 hence we 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 again we we, we thought we thought that there was in fact culture to, 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 to the trajectory. There was, there was that historical aspect of it. We didn't really understand the environmental side of it then. Mm -hmm. 
but that came after. But nonetheless, I think the, 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 the importance of naming it La Ruta Maya came from that that background that in fact there was there was historically the the Belize River was being used as a as a mode of transportation way back from the from from the Maya time. So the Mayans were the first to use the Belize River. The Let's establish that and that, yeah. that La Ruta Maya is an adequate name. It's a correct name to give exactly. to, to to use. Yes. Right? Yes. Because it's La Antigua Ruta Maya. Ruta Maya. No. And to may, the, may, may I add Bortoka, my good friend Bortoka, may he rest in peace. We sat down one day to discuss what would be the difference between Ruta Maya and the other Maya. He said, Don Hector. The other one is Ruta Umana. Ruta Umana, for the fact that it served more than one civilization. In other words, it served more than the Mayas, both the Spaniards, the British, and the Belizean. Mm -hmm. So he said, the other one is Ruta Maya, uh, Umana. Mm -hmm. I said, I agree with you both. Very good. Mm -hmm. So this remains the Ruta Maya. The other one is the Ruta Umana. Well, you said the other one or this other one you're talking about? The one to Bacalar. To Bacalar. Yes. Okay. Ruta Umana because from, that from was... From to Bacalar. Bacalar, yes. Uh -huh. But the branch of the Ruta Maya is the one that led us to Belize. Okay. Yeah. Because they are finding out that in Belize City there are traces of Maya. Oh, yeah. They are studying it right now, the archaeologists, uh -huh. that there are traces around Belize City. Of, of of this uh, this route, no? Well, there were one million Mayans living in Belize uh, compared to, to 400,000 of us living here today. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, of great importance, and here I want to stress it very much. This route, Maya, or call it the Belize Old River, mm -hmm. served an international purpose. Do you know that every merchandise for Petén used to pass through San Ignacio? 26 river boats with barges used to come loaded with cargo, not only for San Ignacio, uh -huh. but the mules, hundreds of mules, my grandparents had about, the Galvez Yogan, they had about 100, and there were about 400 mules down by the savannah mm -hmm. that used to pick up all that cargo and take it to Benke, well, so called Benke, to Petén. Then Petén distributed to Santo Toribio, San Francisco, and the other places. So this route actually, and here I pass to deviate into the global politics, actually served Article 7 of the Anglo-Guatemalan dispute. I read it over and over. The Article 7 says, we shall build a cart road or use the existing rivers. I invite everybody to read that, that article. I'm familiar with it. Yes. So now, therefore, so this importance of the river, and they went down, loaded the boats with chicle. Chicle, cattle, and whatever it was. So it was a huge trade. I didn't realize it until I started to compile all the uses of that river. And that's besides, for example, the, 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 the logging operations and the, the farmers that settled there, 107 of them, settlers, mm -hmm. some villages and some settlements. Mm -hmm. I have listed them, I think I gave it on the um, yeah. Galenoa. 107, those rivers are there, those settlers. And I said, one day Ruta Maya must begin to get some of those names and put a little, we are passing Dokron. Yes. We are passing Iguana Creek. We are now passing Mariduman Point. We are passing Rapdonda. We are passing, uh, you know, the 107 beautiful names. Yeah, 107 no. villages, yeah. Coco that, 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 Maro, that. Uh, Coquico, Cocos, uh, so many, so many names. Good, so there we are now. So what's responsible for opening up Belize, interior Belize is really La Ruta Maya. Right, because it was the only thoroughfare, so to speak, yes. and boats were plying up and down the river um, as against. It took days to get here, though. Oh yes. Uh, uh, how many days? In dry weather, it took over a week. To get from Belize to here. To here, yes. In some places, they have to use the warp line. 
which is a, a, a winch that the boat had in the forward and a long cable, and then they mend the, the turn wall. Well, got the, 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 the instrument there. Yeah. And, and so uh, uh, that was them. But in the, when it was flooded, it took less. The water was higher. Going down, it was fast, three, four days. Yeah. Because but then you're going with the you're going with the current. You're going with the, you're going with the, the river current. Yeah, but that trip lasted from 1904 to 1949, when the Huxley Bridge, well, 47, when the road was open yeah, as a road. 1947 is when the when when the when road the was road actually open. Open, yeah, okay. dirt road. But in 1949 was when the bridge well you could cross right through to to Benquerejo, no to. Yeah. No, 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 Roberto. Those early days when we started the, this actual race that is taking place time tomorrow, the Belikin La Ruta Maya River Challenge, right? Um, what were some of the challenges you faced in, in starting the race? I think one of one of the one of the biggest challenge was convincing people that in fact a, a, a race of this nature could be done between San Ignacio to Belize City. So we, we, first we, 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 we had to uh, get along with our, uh, the partners that, that were there then to convince them that um, we need sponsorship money, we need uh, logistical support, uh, and all the other things that, that, that goes along with, with preparing a race like this. We were lucky enough to get 30 teams to sign up for that first year. Yeah. And that was a challenge because w one of the things that we, 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 we thought is that the national coverage of it and, and, and we, we went to Love FM and, and Love FM said, yes, we are, we are in this with you. Um, partners like, like, like Tra Creek, uh, San Ignacio Hotel, um, and many others that, that, that don't pop up in my mind, but that were there on the onset to say, well, it sounds like something good. Let's let's push for it, and 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 there we were with with with, with putting the race together uh, in that first year. And, and and here we must pause and pay tribute to your brother Richard, of course, because Richard Richard really dedicated a lot to the origin to the beginning of uh, the Belikin La Ruta Maya River Challenge, because I can remember where the meeting took place yes. when when Love Him was approached. Uh -huh. And it took place at BTL, but it's now to today BTL Park. Mm -hmm. That's where the meeting took place, right? And uh, we we sat there. The idea was presented, and we said, okay, we could support in this way. And we became a sort of partner with you guys in starting La Ruta Maya that year. Right. And so it started that year, and we were we. we Put the publicity in, and we put. I, I think we put a lot of effort into it. We worked a lot. We worked jointly yes. in getting the whole thing off its feet, right? Clearly, and clearly. Those are some challenging days. Of <laughs> course, of course. And and like, and you're right. Um, uh, Richard was was perhaps the the, the brainchild of of this whole idea. Mm -hmm. um, brought it to a group of people. Uh, this group of people accepted because we weren't we weren't told to, where we have something in it for you. Mm -hmm. Voluntarily, we, 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 we spent the time, we did what we need to do in, in a month and a half, we put the race together. And, 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 and appreciative again of those people that, 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 that were part of that initial meeting and subsequent races, perhaps uh, five, six years after, that those people kept together and, and, and made the race happen as it was. One one of the one of the targets that that Richard had was let's grow this race a hundred percent every year. Yeah. So we reached that peak up to a hundred and one teams yeah. registering, and and after that it had to be adjusted. The 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 the, the, the strategy was to offer prizes and to offer comfort to offer um, um, that. Again, this is more than just a race. It's yeah. it's 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 about it's more than just a race. It's about the environment. It's about culture. It's about the history, mm -hmm. and 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 people liked it, and people 
followed it. Um, we know the last race was in 2019, but I think we will have that same kind of participation coming coming tomorrow. Yeah. We will have more of this discussion after this break. We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio Cayo, Old Drug, and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry, get more, feelings. The National Gas Company Limited was born of the need for the country of Belize to have a marine gas terminal of its own, thereby securing supplies of critical cooking gas for a growing population. As Belize's population grew, the time came for a modern marine gas terminal that ensured safety, security of supply, and the requisite infrastructure for industry-accepted quality assurance now demanded by the people of Belize. In 2020, the National Gas Company Limited became a reality. The National Gas Company Limited is a $60 million public-private partnership where Belize's private sector would design, finance, construct and manage a state-of-the-art national marine terminal facility and two complementary storage depots away from the coast. After 15 years, the National Gas Company would be fully turned over to the country and people of Belize at no cost to the taxpayer. The National Gas Company of Belize, fueling Belize forward. Somewhere in Belize, a student sits proud of his school and renovated classroom several miles away. A young adult feels at ease, knowing society has not forgotten her quest for higher education. In villages across Belize, children gather to use their imagination, to dare to dream, to create music, make art, play sports, and more. The entrepreneurial spirit is being ignited throughout the country, and the b &E Trust has showcased the Dare to Dream big entrepreneurial program igniting further at this challenging time the spirit of the nation. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust has been a part of celebrating these singular achievements and are especially proud to serve as a catalyst in the changing future of Belize. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust, contributing to the education and empowerment of Belizeans. Shell V Power with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go Shell. Turning back to the history now of the of the Ruta Maya, um, the British used it, like you said, for. Extraction of not only chicle but um, mahogany, logwood, yeah. you name it. The Belize Old River, where Ruta Maya Pass actually has served to propel the economy of Belize. When you begin to, you, you go back to a hundred odd years ago when the north didn't have anything, the south didn't have anything. It was mangoes, cassava, uh, and little pigs here. Up there, it was a little bit of sugar. The Spaniards in 1860 had brought it. But here was a trade so big that when I began to analyze, I said, just a minute, we had about 12 mahogany contractors here. We had chicle. That when you saw the amount of chicken that were in those warehouses that were BTLD, they were bigger, bigger. I mean, it was thousands of blocks of chicle going in those boats to the Wrigley and to Thornton. In, in, well, yeah, the, the, the two, two, there were two big warehouses. No. So the 
the root, this river gave life, nurtured Belize in its infancy. When Belize was beginning to breed as a settlement, then a colony, then a self-governed country, then independence, this river gave life. This river gave life to thousands of people who lived by the river, getting fish, cultivating on the, on the, on the edges of the river, or, uh, hunting. Some people used to tell me, you know, I born on that village of Ayana, Santa Familia. And they said, then when go hunting tonight, where? <laughs> by the river. <laughs> I said, but wait, man, you're supposed to go hunt that the bush. No, he said, all the animals, they come and drink water. Drink water <laughs> so it was, a, it was a, a, a trade. It was, so the life of the Belize River, then alongside that river, there were areas there, for example, that developed. Let us take Dokron. Dokron be, became an industrial town where I was born, you know. Mm -hmm. I was born there. Where are you again, Don Hector, when you're born? Huh? When were you born out here? 11, 22, 33. <laughs> uh, that was there? Yeah. 11, November. 22, uh, 30, no, no, here, 33. 22. 11, November. 22. Yes. And 33, 22 yeah. and 33, yeah. So, yeah. Three, three doubles. So, Dokron, for example, by the Belize River, began as a little nothing. It became producer of brown sugar, rum, Uh, caskets for buried the dead as a Belize city, and one lot of little industries. So the Belize River has is is a very extensive extensive story behind this river. It's a, it's a life flood. It was a life flood of the country, especially leading yes, all, le 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 leading to the west. Yes, it is. I mean, I, I could just sit, uh, sit here and imagine all those river boats. Yes. You know, um, uh, some of them full with cargo, some of them full with passengers, yes. uh, making their way up the river, some coming back down the river, and, 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 and so on. Because just like how we have cars flowing on the highways today, you know. Yeah. Um, and if you look at the banks, at, at, at the villages, the villages themselves have had to change because all the villages were at the bank, on the banks of the river. Mm -hmm. And then when the road was built, they had to move to the side of the road. Mm -hmm. So we had that whole um, transition. But the river, yes, was the mainstay. I mean, that was the only way. If you want to come to San Ignacio, if you want to go to Benqueviejo and, and, and those places, the only place where you could get there, except cutting with a machete through the, through the forest, yes. was by the river. By the La Ruta Maya, where La Ruta Maya runs today. So much so that the Mengue Company, a big logging company, established as a train behind Benqueviejo. Yeah. Remnants are still there. Mm -hmm. A train system, 22 or 23 miles. Okay, that company extracted timber, and right by ahead there is a place named the Chute. Yeah. It goes down about yeah. quarter mile. Yeah, yeah, where they release the, the, the logs so they don't tear, uh, and all that. But they saw the urgent need of bringing plane, and so. Belize, San Ignacio had the first airplane service in this country, yes. named Taka. Yeah. Stinson, Stinson was the name of the plane. I used to ride him from our farm to Cayo because they used to pick up the milk for Belize City at our farm. So every day the plane come, land there, leave the empty cans, come over to San Ignacio, deliver the mail and pick up the passenger, whatever. Then he fly and he go right across half a mile away and he stop and pick up the train, go to Belize. But there was a plane service, 1938, 38, 36, 38, yeah. there was a plane service. Yeah. So it's, this place was a booming, in, uh, uh, um, booming economy, actually, with, this, with the mahogany, with the, and Peten used to get service, and there was such a big trade. So much so that our money here was gold, yeah. sol. My mother, my father used to, when they sell, they get gold coins they sell five dollars for, for, for solid gold. Yeah. And then they had a real 12 and a half cents. 
was not Belize money, mm -hmm. was not British Andrea's money. Sol, where they came from, I don't know. Well, Sol is the Spanish for son. Yeah, but, but, but mm -hmm. imagine a golden coin. Mm -hmm. yeah, golden coin. So it is, it was something tremendous, I tell you, tremendous. This river, I tell you, can be, you can write so much folklore. I mean, when I was growing young, you have all kinds of stories. The most famous one was Andrew Kane, one of them Doris should have called themselves Andrew Kane. Mm -hmm. Andrew Kane was a man that left Mount Hope in the morning in his dory. Uh -huh. People used to come on the day before say, buy me a pair of shoes from road, you know? Yeah, my right there. Bring me so and so Andrew Kane leave in the morning. By evening he is back. Then you have the first expression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is something unbelievable. Yeah. But when you talk to those people down the road, the river they told me down here, that's true. The old ones, I don't know, some most of them they know. Yeah. He said that's true. And then Andrew Kane had left from there and he went to PG where he died, you know, born, he got born in his house. But no, folklore was beautiful. Songs of those river boats, man, I tell you, you used to hear them singing so natural, like Mr. 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 Baba say, make a go jen jen, the old lady say, make a go jen jen. The, and you hear them and those coming up those, <laughs> those shallow places, beautiful songs that. Yeah. They, all that is lost. There might be some people still alive, you know, that may remember those songs. Yeah. But it was beautiful, beautiful river. So, um, Roberto, let's go back now to the modern race. Yeah. And uh, you started off, you said, with 30 participants. Yeah. You grew it to 100, 101, 101 plus. Uh -huh. And then, uh, then we level up down to we level up down now to like sixty, seventy uh, in any one year. Um, again, importantly was that um, we wanted to we, we we wanted to maintain the momentum of, of the race. Um, we wanted to, to to again create that that awareness of the environment of the history and culture. We did a lot of work. Um, and I can recall John Mena from Esperanza. I can recall uh, Dr. Figueroa, who did a, a board uh, identification along the, 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 the La Ruta Maya um, trajectory. Um, John Mena doing the historical side of of all of the sites that that that, that the, the the La Ruta Maya then had. Um, unfortunately, I think we we lost those things because we we perhaps organization wise, I think they are still there. John Mena is still living, Dr. Figueroa is still around, um, so so that there there can be products and history of what we have done over the last twenty five years there. Um, Johnny Cash from from Motomaro. A, 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 a splendid character that, that entertains us when when we, we are past there. Um, guy playing his guitar and singing the traditional folklore songs of, of his era um, then. So I think from, from an environmental standpoint, well, let me see. 1998 to 2022, the river has changed a lot, yeah. be it the floods. And I think one of the biggest changes has been the agricultural development that has occurred over the last 25 years. Quite a bit of, of, of damage to the banks that we now would normally see uh, with vegetation are, are no longer there. Um, there's quite a bit of pollution. Um, we see a lot of, 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 of the garbage uh, yeah. on the river, uh, things that we've tried to, to work on a little bit during the race, but I think we need to do more to, 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 to bring those things into focus. And, and, and just to talk a little bit more about the, 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 the route, it's made up of the Belize River, it's made up of the Makal and the Mopan River. Yeah. Right. Yes, clearly, uh, and, and the, 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 the both rivers are born in Belize. Are born in Belize. The different the, in, in the mountain pine region, both of them. Yes. 
except that the Mopan flows into Guatemala and then comes back, and then comes back into Belize. So, it, so when you were, I was, my mind was going on, when you were talking about garbage or so, who's garbage, you know, because the Mopan would bring a, an amount yeah, yeah, yeah. From, from, fairly, from, fairly. from the Peten area because... And, and perhaps m more of the garbage would come, is coming from that side and, and, and not the, the mile and a half between the, the, um, the Hawksall Bridge and the, and the mouth of, of the, of the Macal River. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. the Macal now is, is born again in the mountain pine ridge, and but that provides us with electricity because you have two two three dams on the Mac, on the on the on the, on the Macal River, and so um, again we so we see how important those rivers are. They meet at Branch Mouth, they form the Belize River. Then in Roaring Creek, you have another important um, contribution, contributory um, factor, which is the thousand, thousand foot, foot falls. Exactly. The top famous thousand foot falls. They say long and thousand, high and a thousand foot. The one thousand six hundred. The one thousand six hundred. Yes. Thousand foot, but uh, no, uh, you see, the, the people measure from there to where it stops, but remember it continues going down. Yeah. Uh, so the, the 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 level, the sea level, that I mean, the, the level that 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 where Belmopan sits, Belmopan is four hundred feet above sea level. That's Belmopan. Mm -hmm. From there, it start to go up and go up like 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 in steps. Mm -hmm. So that flow of water that comes from thousands. Mm -hmm. It goes down gradually, gradually, gradually. So the 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 the, the, the first hit where the men on ice they get lost down there uh, is a thousand foot. So they have maintained that word thousand foot, thousand foot. But I read new uh, measurements that it's a thousand six hundred, the tallest waterfall in the whole of Central America. Yes, it is. It is the tallest. It's the tallest uh, yeah. waterfall. Mm -hmm. Free falling. I would like to add on to this very important since we are talking about the composition of the Birutamaya. Just, just want, I just want to clarify that um, before we move away from the thousand foot falls, yeah. that that is uh, where Roaring Creek, that turns into Roaring Creek. Exactly. And then Roaring Creek flows into the Belize exactly. River, which is, of course, the main yes. route to the Rutamaya. But yeah. go ahead. And you have Barton Creek, too. Don't that, uh, Barton Creek as well. Yeah, it has uh, well, others were when it rained. But Dr. Rene and Mr. Harris, Something very important to clear on this occasion. Kayo. Kayo. What is Kayo? You mentioned just now about the branch where they meet. Okay. They discovered Mr. Blancano, Sebastian Blancano, Barreboy's grandfather, Belikin, grandfather, mm -hmm. discovered that there was a piece of territory surrounded by water. The Mopan at Chiquibul, they have a branch that meets when it rains, mm -hmm. and it meet at branch mode. So this whole area should have been the Cayo, the key. The key. Uh -huh. But people misinterpreted the, the, the colonial secretary um, when he came here, and he said, I am going to the key. Which key? So they began to, and people say, oh, well, the man meant that this tongue here named Cayo. This tongue was never, never been Cayo. Never yet. This is a misnomer. This San Ignacio has never been anything Cayo. That word that Colonial Secretary Fowler said, I am, he was a ticket, I am going to the key. And they took that. So when the priest came here, right by the market, where we know it started around there, and he said, I will baptize this Bacadia, like it works, no? Mahagani work, as the village of San Ignacio. But the, the, the other religions did not want it. So they objected. So they kept calling this place Cayo. Mm -hmm. Cayo, Cayo, Cayo. So what they did is took away the little statue of Bosa and they threw it into the river. It's in Santa Elena right now. It lives right there, 100 odd years ago. The statue of San Ignacio is in Santa Elena. Yeah, I've heard that story. I've yeah, covered that story. It's a refugee there, no? So, but, okay, so now... Will it be returned one day, Don Hector? They tried already once, but um, something happened. And, and for clarification for those, uh, I think what you're referring to is the fact that San Ignacio, the name San Ignacio is a, is a Catholic name. 
as of Catholic origin. 1870. Yeah, and, 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 and the churches that were predominant in Belize, the British churches that were predominant in Belize were the Methodists and the Anglicans. Exactly. So, uh, they, so they did not want San Ignacio. Yeah. Uh, so and, and I just wanted to clarify yes, why that it was along religious lines. Exactly. Why 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 the, the statue of San Ignacio was thrown into the in, in, into the Macal yes. and then retrieved by the people of Santa Elena. Yes. And so when I became mayor, the first thing I did was to bring back the name, and I passed a resolution for the ministry to take it to cabinet, Minister Catus, um, and to rename the place. But the twin tongues. Of San Ignacio and San Santa Elena was not mentioned. So that was a, a village. Mm -hmm. They used to collect taxis, taxis from them, but they never used to get them one service, no street. So that's it. No, but no, let's go back to the Ruta Maya. The twin tongues of San Ignacio and, and Santa, Santa Elena. Yes. And that is the correct way to refer exactly. to, the, to, 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 to this area. It's, that's not, it. it's not just San Ignacio, it's no, not no. just Santa Elena, it's the twin tongues of San Ignacio and Santa Elena from where La Ruta Maya will start from at the foot of the Hawksworth Bridge in the Macal River that divides San Ignacio and Santa Elena, but they remain united by the Hawksworth Bridge. Yes. That's no. what For the paddlers, for the paddlers that are going tomorrow, I mean, for the Ruta Maya and the organizers, these are some of the names that I wish one day they would put, they put something there for example, branch moat. What does branch moat mean? You can go there. In fact, I, Dr. Yeah. Rennie and myself went there, and we saw the little whirlpool formed by three waters. That's right. That little spot, a pipe should be put right there. I would give the pipe a habit there to put it there. This is the beginning of the Belize River, right, right, at, that, right at, that at that point. Good. Uh -huh. So now, branch moat. Very important, very important to show, to, 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 to tell the world where these three rivers begin. Ground zero, mm -hmm. right at that spot. Don't forget also about places that down the road. For example, you have um, uh, Doc Run. Very big history from way back when Mr. Bryant own it and sold to Don Emilio. You have, for example, Esperanza, that was three villages. In, we made it into one. It was Hill Bank, Middle Bank, Samil, Santa Rosa, no Esperanza. We have Tiger Bank, where they were going to settle the refugees, the, Germ the, 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 the Jews, 400 families. Baking Pot, another historical place. Then you go down to Spanish, Spanish lookout. We don't say that. We have, for example, Gentle Bank, Floral Park for the Bones. You go down, for example, to 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 area like Iguana Creek. Why Iguana Creek? And those are the things that perhaps in years to come you can make that Ruta Maya more um, romantic, more folkloric. You have Bukut Palace. People don't know that they when I mentioned they call me for ask about Bukut Palace is where the mosquitoes, many mosquitoes settle mm -hmm. on the I don't the Mount Hope on okay. the left. Yes. And the the, the mosquitoes, right? Yes, yes. yes. You have Black Man Eddie. What is Black Man Eddie? It was a white man named Mr. Blackman that drowned in the Eddie right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Blackman was a white man from England, yeah. a contractor. Yeah. And know that place of nobody knew why they call it Black Man Eddie. Yeah. And you go down and you have very beautiful Wari Head tea kettle. Yeah. Then when you, you reach Banana Bank, when you reach Banana Bank, then you have Little Orange Rock. Little Orange Rock for Melado. Never delay for Ben Stewart. These are big people, you know? Yeah. These are not the play play things. Mount Place and Kitty Bank. Cocos, Saturday Creek, Solomon Place, Cotton Tree Bank, Ragdonda, Meditation, More Tomorrow for Paslo, mm -hmm. for Thomas Paslo, Dancing School Eddie, Joe White Bank, Piquiri Guts, Panama, Gail Creek, Beaver Dam, Castile, Beaver Dam. Mm -hmm. Why Beaver Dam? Because there were animals, um, this little um, um, ground moles, yeah, cut some trees. And they drop on the little creek there, and the animals for back the cross. They make their own bridge, you know? mm -hmm. So when they told the white engineer, he said, so he was that here. 
Oh, he said bees are a little animals. What are they? He said something like beaver. Damn the beaver. Let's go work. <laughs> damn, damn the beaver. Beaver, beaver, beaver damn. Uh -huh. So there you have it, and man, it's beautiful right along down the road. You have Bamboo Patch, Cotton, Jim Cotto, Johnny Young, Scotland and Half Moon, Flowers Bank, the famous, Lime Walk, and then Grace Bank, Jones Bank, Mexico Creek, and you go down the right down. Uh, you can't forget my grandmother's village, Don Hector. Uh -huh. Borel Boom. Borel Boom, yes, that's right. <laughs> no, that was, I saw some people they were talking the other day about the, 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 the origin of Borel Boom. Yeah. I, I didn't know. He said, the Mr. Borel family was a boom yeah. for logs. Mr. Borel, yes. Uh -huh. So, and the boom was the chain that they yeah. have it around there. Yeah. So, man is tremendous, is folkloric. This Rutamaya, I hope that one day could be made into what say, like a tourist attraction. You know how many people will take that trip down the river? You know, stop at different places like Banana Bank to eat, and then money could be a huge tourist because then you will add on the historical value mm -hmm. as you go along. Mm -hmm. The Mississippi, not only because of the water, but of the history of the Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So this river could be made so attractive that it could become a huge industry, industry yeah. all along to hundred and eight people. They were asked one question, but we have to really share a place. No problem. Government, April with Papa, had the job to blow all those currents with dynamites. Mm -hmm. There was a time in the in the in the um, in the dry weather, no? They used to come and lay the dynamites. And when that exploded, you have a wide canal. Yeah. All the river that was running that side come into that canal, and the boats they go right through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all that is, is is so beautiful. I'm so glad that you all are bringing the the story back about this Belize River through the Rosa Maya, no? Because mm -hmm. it's, it's something great. So when you look at La Ruta Maya tomorrow, you got to look at it from a historical angle as well. Yes. And and and. Be, and I think as Belizeans, we should all be thankful that God has blessed us with this great river known as the Belize River, mm -hmm. you know, and made up of these other two good rivers, the Makal and the Mopan, the Thousand Foot Falls. Um, I can't remember all of them, but <laughs> made up of several waterways. Mm -hmm. Now, Laboring Creek, how does Laboring Creek play into all of this? Laboring Creek comes more from the original district. Yes. Um, it goes almost at what they call the 17th parallel. If you see Laboring Creek on a map, remember that before 1893, Mexico owned that part, you know? Mm -hmm. From the people here, from Cayo, Mr. Old Charlie Mosiah said that when his grandfather used to want to go and, 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 and bleed chicle, he had to go to Santa Cruz de Bravo by, by, by going to Cancun to get a permission from the Mexican authorities to go bleed chicle above, uh, above, uh, above Laboring Creek. So they were always saying that, that if Guatemala would get part of Belize, Mexico was going to claim from the 17th parallel, which is Laboring Creek, up to Rio Hondo. Mm -hmm. That was only a, a, a saying like well, that. Actually, there are two yeah. treaties that make up um, Belize, the, yeah, the treaty with right. Mexico and the treaty with Guatemala. Guatemala. So Laboring Creek is they are almost at that parallel, 17. So uh, it, it, it's tremendous when I tell you, but there's so much, so much more that we were never told. We don't talk about the Battle of Laboring Creek either. No. no. You know, the Battle of Laboring Creek, when they, when, when they moved up, I think it was from the same area here. Yes. And they moved down the Belize River, and um, I, they, they entered Laboring Creek. Like Lebonale, around and around Lebonale, and the area there, entered Laboring Creek. Mm -hmm. And they had a fort on Laboring Creek. The British had a fort on Laboring Creek. And um, when, they, when they got a win that, um, that the, the invasion was, Im was coming down, uh, they, 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 they were held off there at Laboring Creek. Yeah. And people paddled furiously up the river yeah. and uh, relieved the garrison there at the Laboring Creek. Mm -hmm. 
I read that somewhere in a book by Cornell DNA Fairweather. Which is, there's a lot of story there, you know, behind. Um, well, we had this one as Spanish law code. Yeah. I did not know it until I started to search and search, and I found, I said, wait, why did they mention, why did they name Melchor? Melchor? It was after that general, Idigo has pointed, must have read, that a general came into Belize and went as far as Chet, uh, Libor, I mean, Spanish Law Court, right And he stood there, you know, for a few months. So that's why Melchor got the name, Melchor de Mencos. Mm -hmm. But what is important, Don Hector, in all our history, is that while we have this association and incursions by, by Spanish um, forces around us, Spain never did occupy formally any part of Belize, not, not any not. part of what is today's Belize. Mm -hmm. and, and, and even the Mexicans recognize that, but you know. Fr from Nachan Khan refuted him, rejected him when he wanted to enter to Corozal Chactemal. Yeah. Nachan Khan said, no, you will not come here. I will send you corn in the shape of, of swords and I will send you Turkish in the shape, in the shape of lances. So then they start to come in through, you know, little like areas, like for example, they enter see, through the border, like Melchor, but they never did at any time establish any place. Um, they, the nearest they went to was at Tipu when they built that cathedral that is there. The foundation is still there. That's an up in the church and the, the, the Mayans burnt down the, 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 the temple at Indian church too. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. So they, but they didn't stay there because the, the Mayans were our first line of defense really were the Mayans. Yes. Right? You know, the, mm -hmm. the Mayans that live in the area. Yes. And so when when you do La Ruta Maya, be proud. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know? yes, I, that actually this is territory that belongs. In, we have been, we have owned it with undisturbed possession. Right. That's the word. They tried, but they never possessed it. Mm -hmm. Like St. George's Key. They tried, but they did not possess. Mm -hmm. So we have been owners of this territory in undisturbed possession. For over two hundred odd years, that's right. Where does yeah. any other claim can come? Yeah. We are just entertaining fools, no? But <laughs> you know, matter what part of the jewel they come from, you that you. We will have more after this break. We are the Barry, offering you great products, good service, and of course, the lowest prices in the entire country. Visit us in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio Cayo, or York, and now in San Pedro, La Isla Bonita. The Barry. Get more? Pieles. The National Gas Company Limited was born of the need for the country of Belize to have a marine gas terminal of its own thereby securing supplies of critical cooking gas for a growing population. As Belize's population grew, the time came for a modern marine gas terminal that ensured safety, security of supply, and the requisite infrastructure for industry-accepted quality assurance now demanded by the people of Belize. In 2020, the National Gas Company Limited became a reality. The National Gas Company Limited is a $60 million public-private partnership where Belize's private sector would design, finance, construct and manage a state-of-the-art national marine terminal facility and two complementary storage depots away from the coast. After 15 years, the National Gas Company would be fully turned over to the country and people of Belize at no cost to the taxpayer. The National Gas Company of Belize, fueling Belize forward. Somewhere in Belize, a student sits proud of his school and renovated classroom. Several miles away, a young adult feels at ease, knowing society has not forgotten her quest for higher education. In villages across Belize, children gather to use their imagination to dare to dream to create music, make art, play sports, and more. The entrepreneurial spirit 
is being ignited throughout the country and the BNE Trust has showcased the Dare to Dream Big Entrepreneurial Program igniting further at this challenging time the spirit of the nation. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust has been a part of celebrating these singular achievements and are especially proud to serve as a catalyst in the changing future of Belize. The Belize Natural Energy Charitable Trust, contributing to the education and empowerment of Belizeans. Shell V Power, with three times more cleaning and friction reducing molecules. Go well, go Shell! So what will you tomorrow, Don Roberto? And what are we looking for tomorrow? I just wanted to follow up on, on, on one of the arguments that Dr. Um, Silva had here. Uh, the opportunity to, there's, a, there's a, perhaps a fourth pillar to, to, to the race and, and the tourist aspect of it. I think, um, and we spoke at one of our Love FM talk shows about that opportunity. And I think, uh, it can be sold as as a package same way um because it's there that the the the, the history and 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 the culture and, and the environment will come out much more to who would buy into that kind of of, of package mm -hmm. but we are looking forward to to, to, to again a healthy race uh, covid situation you know we, we we have gotten the the go ahead from the ministry of health and wellness um they and we, we we're trying to say to people come come to the race but likewise understand that that, that the, the the covid protocols are there the the, the the little bit of social distancing is there um if you're vaccinated you're 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 perhaps more safer but the, and if you feel like you're sick stay home don't 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 uh, converge where uh you might be infected and spread the 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 the, 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 the disease um, more than than we want to. So we 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 clearly we we are glad of our partners. Um, we're glad of the sponsorship that you know, we're happy that that we again uh, have uh, the 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 entrepreneurial community behind us um, because without them really we we wouldn't be able to. To, to put off a race like this um, because it, it, it takes resources it takes Another manpower um, and, and and partnering with RSV limited was was one of our our strategies in maintaining the the, the, the race alive because um, we, we we needed that kind of, of, of ownership we needed that kind of of, 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 of cooperation that, that that stand behind it. Excellence. Uh, uh, RSV has a uh, uh, wonderful, exceptional crew of, of professionals there that that make this race happen every year, and and and, and it, it goes without saying. Extending into what you just said, this discussion about making it something more than La Ruta Maya, making it into history, but making it also as a as an education. And I put it this way, for example, the same Ruta Maya organization can ask for a franchise on that river. I'll tell you why. You know, I own it, mm -hmm. and a franchise. Whereby you are going to establish for the first time a journey down the Belize Old River, or a journey down the Ruta Maya. Mm -hmm. A franchise that nobody will go, oh, I will do it too, and that kind of. Then from there, you arrange it with Banana Bank whereby you invite tourists, families, people, you want to know the Belize River, how far I want to make one tour from here to Banana Bank. Mm -hmm. Me and my wife and my grandchildren and everything. One person supply this. Uh, many people that begin to own their pit pans. Pit pan was the one that was used here, that was it, before boats. Mm -hmm. So that you have a pit pan where a family say, I need a pit pan to go down. No, you will make arrangement with the establishment, say Banana Bank, or before I do, that on such a day you will go down here with mm -hmm. that. I mean, and then they will give it service, 
And if this, like, Banana Bank has a thing, uh, sleeping quarters, whatever. Mm -hmm. So that could be established into a new industry. Sure. Tourist industry for local and foreign people. Mm -hmm. And you know how many people would want to come to make a tour of a river where you see the morning beauty of the river like this. So that can be an, an, an attachment to the Rutamaya. Right. Make it into a tourist a tourist journey. Mm -hmm. Good advice there, Don Roberto. Uh, of course, I, I think, like we said, there, there, there's, that thought has been toyed for a long time. And, and but again, it, it we need the partnership, and I think we have it with yeah. RSV, and and, and 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 we can we can move that 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 product um, as well. Yeah, yeah because together with the Harrisons, we are La Ruta Maya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Dr. Roberto, you're a doctor, right? As far as I know. Huh? Uh, Dr. Roberto, before we end this discussion, which I have enjoyed thoroughly with you and the one and only Don Hector, mm -hmm. Dr. Don Hector, right? Um, let's recap the origin, the beginning of the race when we started those 30. Mm -hmm. Um, take us through the years, how it has evolved, and um, how it has benefited and changed many lives and 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 in in Belize. Well, as as I mentioned perhaps earlier, the the race uh, in 1988 started with 30 teams, and most of those teams are from the the Bully Tree, Branch Mode, up to Esperanza area. Um, they were plastic canoes that were only available at the time. So, so the, the race took 26 hours then. Um, subsequent years, then we saw more people coming down from the, the trajectory of, of the Rutamaya, Motomaro, um, even Flowers Bank, um, out, outside of the, of the Cayo district. Um, but then we also saw that, that, that the, the race, and what we were trying to do was to promote the Dory type canoeing. But because of the competitive nature of what the race was becoming, um, science and technology took over. Yes. And then we saw uh, uh, paddlers wanting to have, Kev uh, or first was, was the, the um, Ah, oh God. Well, eventually the, the Kevlar canoes, lighter, uh, uh, not heavy paddles. Um, everybody was was concerned about 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 what what the weight of that. You created a new industry, basically, uh, Doctor Roberto, because a the new industry yeah. where a canoe, a racing canoe today costs. No less than 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 five to eight thousand dollars, and depending on on what what you you asking for, so that the transformation of the race and the tech and and the and the competitiveness of the race was understood that that investments were being made and 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 and, and, and big big money was 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 following the race. Then um, the, the 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 paddlers were were being paid to. to 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 train the, the paddlers were were um, doing the the right dietary requirements, the, all of the necessary um, vitamins that, that that needed to be taken to prepare them for 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 that four day journey. So much that the twenty six hours was cut down to sixteen hours over the course, and, and we are now at about sixteen hours. On, on average, from here to Belize. City. From here to Belize City. Yeah, but I remember you do the race is a four day race, but yes, it, yes. but but uh, you rest you just paddle certain hours of the day, and maybe we, here we can maybe break down the, the hours of paddling. Yes, mm -hmm. so that the, 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 when we first when we first designed the race, we, we and we have never changed from San Ignacio to Banana Bank. Banana Bank was to Bermuda and landing, and that was perhaps the the, the longest strike. So that was almost. 60 miles mm -hmm. and we thought that that that, that too, long. too long so we we over the years 
over time we decided, well, let's let's cut it down to six miles. Uh, six miles is about an hour ca canoeing. Yeah. So we, we brought it to the bullhead cabbage, and then we, we have toyed around between Barrel Boom and Henderson's Bank over over the years. And we have always landed the race at, at the Civic Center. Well, not necessarily. The first year we landed it at the mouth of the of the of the Halova Creek. I remember that yeah. we were there. Yeah. So, uh, but again, because of of the of the logistics, we we then brought it to the to the to the Swing Bridge with, with first. Swing Bridge, then the yeah. Civic then the Civic Center afterwards. Uh -huh. So, again, I think the 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 transformation and the evolving of this race has, has been significant in terms of entrepreneurial opportunities that have benefited from it, the culinary opportunities that people along all of the settlements have something to sell at, at, at the day, um, the hikete and, and the, 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 the white rice and this and that and that have. Uh, and, and people that follow the race look forward to those to those things and and, and 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 you know it's not just about go seeing the finish of the race but I could buy me cravo I could buy me 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 me, me, me hekete, I could buy me this I could buy me that it generates uh, income for the the settlements along along the river so I think we we have we have or, or, or the public at large has benefited from that aspect as well that that an opportunity for them is there because it has, it has good support from from the public at large. Yeah. No, tell me something. You mentioned okay right now that the doris are being, well, they 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 becoming you know, like a professional dory. Yes. No longer the order. But do you have yeah. categories? Let us say, for example, a bunch of uh, villagers here. They yeah, they, they have the least mal dory. Can they enter as a, on a different category? Well, we have we have eight categories. We have male, female, mix. We have pleasure. We have masters, uh, forty years and older, intramural schools. We have family, and we now have a C two category where it's it's only two paddlers um, on on the C two category. Okay, okay. All the other categories are are three. Um, the family we we created that because we saw again an opportunity where. Yes. Families together, and and they have a different set of rules to it that that they can interchange paddlers every day, uh, so that if if three away get tired, you could put in, okay, that's yeah, good. That's good. so that it encourages them to want to finish the race in in, in any case, and and their and their prizes and their prizes for them as well. Yeah. Another amazing thing of, of La Ruta Maya is that many people do La Ruta Maya just to say they have done it. Yes. yes. Right, because I have paddled this historic road. I have been a part of history. I've been a long historical in a historical area mm -hmm. that is so full of history yes. and and life. That's right. I have done the route, but with 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 as, as a safety boat captain, mm -hmm. I've always wa I would have always wanted to do it, don't yes. But because of of my involvement in the organization side of it, didn't allow me to be on the water and 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 managing the race. On the banks because it, it, it takes logistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody gets hurt, you have to figure out how to put them out to the hospital. There, there's so many things happening around. Uh, but gladly, my 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 daughter was I think 14 that did it uh, then uh, at least 20 years ago. I remember I, I was invited to address the um, the, the the night before you know when the Laborna came and everything. I remember there was teams from Canada, teams from other places, I forget what it is, more than about three or four foreign teams. I say, will this one day become international Rutamaya? It is, it is. Is it's already? It's, 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 it's international. Oh, wonderful. Yes, yes. Um, again, uh, uh, one of the, 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 the biggest uh, outside international teams that we had was from Bad Sub. Uh, you know, they came in, did their training, and, and up to certain points, they had 10 teams in the race. Yeah. All British soldiers yeah. paddling, enjoying themselves. We had the Taiwanese, we had the Japanese, we had the, 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 the American volunteers. Uh, so we have had quite a bit of international participation as, as far as we are concerned. So tomorrow we celebrate the history of the 
Belize River, which is the Ruta Maya, right? Where, 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 where these very important rivers converge and form this unique river that has been the lifeblood of, the, of, of, of our country for many, many years until 1947, no, somewhere around there, I'll say, 49, when, 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 when the bridge was open. And the description of that Ruta Maya comes in with Be Le Kin going towards the sun. Be is going. Le towards Kin is the rising sun or the sun. Yeah. Be Le Kin. Be that Le is the route there that describes in Maya mm -hmm. what we call here the Ruta Maya. And another piece of history too, um, the area that Belmopan is in, the, where, where, where the Mopan yes. um, Mayans live, mm -hmm. um, was once known as Belikin, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Which um, obviously the name of the beer, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, and that was recognized by George Price. Yes, yes, right. When he, he did right. limestone pillars of Belikin. Mm -hmm. I drank that, of that was beer. before the beer. <laughs> Yeah. I remember in Belmopan they had a big, uh, uh, when this matter was announced, you know, about the introduction of, of a bear producing a factory. And they said, what name? But well, he said, Belikin. I said, Belikin. I said, why? So, well, he said, this has been brought before the government. He said, and it's accepted to be the name because actually is not because of the of the of the effects of the bear mm -hmm. but it's because it tells you about something that we are we are on that road mm -hmm. all the mayas from tikal from sunan tunich everything always went to the sea either to the Carcos lagoon or mm -hmm. to, to to the sea then to get their salt they couldn't live without salt. Mm -hmm. So this road was life for the Mayas right. to get their salt, to get their fish, mm -hmm. and shells that for them were very valuable. The trade, it should be a trade. Yeah. And trade too. A trade. Yeah. So there you have it, very important, very important. But again, I salute the Harrisons, you all, that came with that vision, I don't know if in a dream or what, yeah. that this, there was something, something that we could not yet describe or understand until they say Ruta Maya. Mm -hmm. So I got so interested because I researched a lot, you know, and I said, I went to Merida to my cousins there in Chetumal and they took me to Bacalar and Asa. And then coming from New Orleans by plane, I sat down below, you know, I had my camera. And I have them somewhere there, and I took a few pictures because we fly almost down the 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 the, the familiar with the road. Yes, yeah. that road, yeah. and I took the pictures yeah. until I get to the airport. Yeah. So that's. Well, look, next time we want to thank you so much for being a part of this. You're welcome. And I don't know if you have anything else you want to tell me before I go. But All I, like you told me a whole lot just now. Doctor Rene and Doctor Harrison, I am. My heart is filled with joy to see you young people. You young people bringing to the nation what we actually are, but we don't know it. And I'm glad, doctor, that you brought this um, watch, uh, Belize watch again. Okay, last time me and my wife were enjoying and we bed. Oh, when yeah. we talked to, and I said, God, I said, Teresita, this is good. They bring young people, no? Uh -huh. The little boy, very interested. I don't know who they were, but, and the girl yeah. kept laughing, happy. Uh -huh. So we are, you are involving the young, yeah. inviting the young. Yeah. We, the old heads, we can relate what happened, but we want also the young people to understand. And that program is do never allow it because there's so much. There's so much to tell this nation. Mm -hmm. I am filled up to yeah, that whenever I do go away from it, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, there will be a, something left because there's so much. You know, I, 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 I have witnessed stories in this country. Both as a politician, 
as a footballer, as a student, as what, what. I have found those certain things that actually, I never dreamt they existed. Mm -hmm. We never know that there were about maybe eight to nine trains until he showed a little train that while he sugar mill by um, uh, City um, I forget the uh, name. Serpon. Huh? Serpon. Yes. Okay. And then the Kuhun people don't show that the train. Uh, the Stan Creek people had a train. Stan, yeah. Stan Creek had one. We had a big one. Hill Bank. Yeah. Hill Bank. Like yeah. One. Yeah. Few of you saw the little one that the Bango walk. I remember at least bad one yeah. where they used to pump. So those are the things that our people need to know. Which history? To enrich their lives because we are not, we are not anybody. Belizeans have a foundation that is second to none. I totally agree with you, Hector. So, and I agree with you 100%. And I want to thank you so much for taking part in this show um, this evening. And to wish you, uh, let, since it's a start, we are so happy that Ruta Maya Day starting days starting tomorrow. <laughs> and Don Roberto will give you the closing words. Well, I want to thank um, the, the, the paddlers that have trusted in us to organize uh, uh, the race this year again. I want to thank our sponsors uh, who have made it possible to RSV for partnering with the founders to, to, to make this more than just a race. And, and we want to invite everybody to come out and, and enjoy the race, be, be safe, be, be conscious of, of, of the COVID situation, wear a mask at all times. If we, you're gonna, nothing that, that, that the, the protocols for eating is there, uh, you finish eating or drinking something, you put back your mask. And, 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 and again, thank you everybody for believing in that this is more than just a race. And I want to thank again the paddlers, the sponsors, everybody who has done anything or will do anything to make this race the success that it was. Thanks to the paddlers, the viewers, the fans, the, but most of all, thanks to Almighty God. Because without him, it, it won't happen. The Belikin La Ruta Maya River Challenge, right? It's more than just a race. It is love and so we say thanks for choosing love belize watch knowledge of the past impacting the present building the future <laughs>